Hi, it's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kirk. You know, I almost said oh, it's hi, it's Kirk when I was doing that. I just don't know why. Hi, it's Kirk. anyone that wants to be me. <laughs> uh, right, today we are going to be checking out, I'll tell you about the reaction we're going to check out today. But first of all, just to let you know, we're at our studio here in Club 85. Just big thank you to the team at Club 85 for allowing us to use their lovely premises, a live music venue for rock and metal. And what's that other stuff? Pop and uh, drama by DJs. Indie That's rock we don't care about. That. Yeah. So, so the rock and metal though, no, awesome. Listen to everything. Yeah, as long as it's rock and metal. <laughs> we're open-minded people. I like r and well, well, we are open-minded today. So we're yeah. going to check out a band called Ninjin Isu. I think it's Isu or is it Itsu? Are Ninjin Chinese? Isu. Uh, Japanese. Japanese. And the song okay. is called Namahaeg. These are the godfathers of... I believe this is correct. I, I'll probably get picked up in the comments here for saying this wrong. But they are the godfathers of Sludge Groove Doom for Japan. Oh, Okay. Well, we'll probably. So, like if you this. like the sludgy, bluesy, doomy stuff, yeah. they're very cool with that. So, without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Uh, this is a Ninjin Itsu and Namaheg. So, I think it's like almost seven minutes long, this video. So, I mean, this is sludge metal. Where? Did me or is that Japanese Bob? <laughs> Japanese Bob. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we should explain who Bob is though. Good start. It's quite an old video, Haunting. I believe. Oh, you gotta love a downstroke. Club 85. Oh, come on, Hertfordshire. All the, most bands here are doom metal, aren't they? A sludge, they'd love this. I wonder why they switched from black and white to colour. It's weird switching like black and white, like black yeah. and white studio to a colour live performance. What is that in the chorus, that high register? Oscillator maybe? Oscillator, yeah. It works, doesn't it? I like the pull-off technique in that riff. Listen to the bass there as well.
do love the crowd participation, like the where the hands are going, everyone's like... It's metal. easy to get into this, isn't it? If you're, li if you're not alive, even if this is not your genre, yeah. you, you'd enjoy it still. Ooh, hello, fucking hell. <laughs> Interesting solo. <laughs> Imagine if that was the solo. <laughs> I thought that was an Andy solo. Was that, was that you, Andy, playing a solo there? <laughs> That's Tom G. Warrior standard solo. That <laughs> that song lives a few seconds, didn't it? Yeah. Spread it out a bit, change. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now he's getting into That's the pentatonic up. blues. Is he using his little finger though? No, he's not. God, he looks like oh, technique, doesn't yeah. The bass is uh, doing some scale shredding as well. Breakdown or something. He looks like a, a tax collector. <laughs> a singer. Okay, so that was Ninjin Isu and Namahag. I'm going to kick off first because I have a quick disclaimer for an integrity point of view. It's not the first time I've seen this because I've done it on the Dave Does channel before, but I thought it would be an interesting one because it wasn't... It's two years ago since I reacted to this and I wasn't a fan of it when I reacted to it on there. Now, I, mm -hmm. I definitely feel my opinion on this style of music has changed. Maybe it's doing all the videos we've done together uh, with some of the more doomier elements and stuff like that. So... There are a few things I still feel about it. I, I really liked where it was going from the beginning of the musicality. I like the vocal elements of the two different vocalists, what they were doing. Um, I did find when it got to about about a minute from the end, I felt that it felt long at that point. Uh, it, it felt a little bit like the song was getting a bit aimless. Now that might be intentional. That might be the style of, the style of that music to go that way. But I started to... I guess the giveaway for me is whenever I start to look at the screen at the bottom to see what how much longer I've got of a song, I know that's telling me that that's where I naturally feel that the song should have finished because I'm starting to lose interest in it. And that's what had happened about a minute from the end. So probably about five and a half minutes in, I was kind of like, OK, I'm ready for this to be finished now. I've enjoyed it up to now, but I'm now starting to lose interest. But I did enjoy the track. I did uh, compared to last time I was... Yeah, last time I wasn't a big fan of it, but I actually enjoyed this time. Let's kick over to Andy on this one. Um, yeah, much like um, the Groove Symposium album that we recently reviewed, this, as a band that I've never heard of before or have never heard, you know, their material, you know, struck a real chord with me straight away. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, you, you could saw my reaction. You know, it really got me. You know, in, into the song from the opening riff. It was just really, really good stuff. I'm not quite sure where I stand on the vocals yet. I think I need to give it a listen. Maybe listen to some more songs. I'm not sure. If, I initially thought, no, I don't like it. And then a few sort of lines into the, into the song, I thought, yeah, it, it, it suits the style. Maybe it's the because I'm, I'm pretty certain they're not singing in English. Maybe uh, it's all Japanese. Yeah. yeah. 
Maybe, is, maybe, maybe, that, maybe that's a bit of a, a hurdle for me to overcome, to be honest. Is it the chorus? Because it was, for me, I liked all the vocals up until the chorus. He goes, dun, 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 dun. when he does that high bit, I was like, I didn't, that, like, didn't like that. If, bit. if, if, if it's a part, you know, part of that video or part of that song, I did like, it, it was the that's chorus. The you know, the that opening liked. riff, the main riff, the verses, but, you know, really, really enjoyable song. And I'd like to check out more of that band. Um, if you were to look at those guys, you wouldn't thought they were in a sludgy doom band, would you? Whether they're Japanese or not. The singer looks like he should be a tax inspector. Yeah. I mean, much the same as Bobby Liebling of Pentagram doesn't look like he should be doing what he's doing. But yeah, I mean, they're producing some really good stuff there. Um, it's not really the sort of thing I'm into when it comes to doom, you know, that bluesy, groovy doom. So, I'll, you know, I'll hand it over to Kirk in a minute to find out, you know, who they compare to in the sort of uh, the, the mainstream Western market. But... I enjoyed that, and I, you know, I'll, I'll give that song uh, another listen and certainly check out more of their stuff. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah, I hope I don't spoil the party. I've I've heard music like that a million times before, so it, it takes a lot to get my interest. Um, the Hertfordshire band that we've um, that'll be coming up, we, we did a reaction to, Aeronaut. I really enjoyed. I can't say I did with that. One thing I did like though. It was an unpredictable structure to the song. I love those crunchy downstrokes, you know, when you palm mute in your guitar. To me, what stood out was, I think, did, do you think that's an oscillator, did you say, in the chorus? Does this real... It sounds like something like an oscillator going with some sort of... Uh, it's probably a guitar through an oscillator yeah. doing that effect. That, that was good because it balanced out the, the, uh, the EQ, didn't it? Because, you know, you've got all this really heavy low-end stuff. Um, too much pentatonic blues. I, I just think the future of metal... <clears throat> is moving away from that, isn't it? Um, and I'm not, 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 I'm not saying that, that that's going to be a permanent thing, but when you get a band that, are, let's be honest, um, playing riffs that could easily be on on a, on a Led Zeppelin or Black Sabbath album, how can you make that relevant in the 21st century? Um, I would enjoy that live. I'd be participating with them. I, I don't know if I'd bother with a whole album. It's just, to me, it's too familiar. There's not much more you can do. Once you've heard Master of Reality by Black Sabbath, you really don't need to listen to most bands that are, that are in this, like, stoner metal genre. And unlike Orange Goblin, they, don't, they, didn't, they didn't really have a sinister side to them. Um, or maybe they did, because I don't know what they're saying in the That's lyrics. That's a very harsh con con uh, comment on that one. Do you think? I just well, so let's say it's you... like so. Hang on, Black Sabbath, Master <coughs> If you've listened to that, you don't need to listen to any other band there's within so that many, genre. There's so many bands that rip it off. No, they did a few so things. If, if we've listened to like a death album, we mm -hmm. don't need to listen to any other death metal albums, then do we? Because uh, prob the, probably sixty cause of death <laughs> by Obituary. That's a great album. We don't need to listen to any more death albums, then do we? Because that was a bit an epitome. I, 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 I'm not. I just think with that, I've heard it. I've heard that that type of music so many times. It's going to be hard to retain my attention. And let's be honest, it is quite Definitely. lethargic, okay. some of that as well, isn't it? I like the drum work. Um, just, yeah, it, it just didn't really do much for me. It's picking on you. Do you know what? It was, it, was, it was a safe song. Does that make any sense of people yeah, saying yeah. that? Yeah, okay. So, so who would you compare them to? Like I say, it's, it's not, you know, the, the sort of typical doom I listen to. Mm -hmm. I listen to them sort of, you know, the sort of, you know, the, the more extreme end of the of the spectrum. You say that could be a safe song, but who would you compare it to? You mentioned Orange Goblin. I don't know that. Band Probably band. would be Windhand. You know, a band like that. Um, I guess I, I don't really listen to much music like this. Do you know? What, actually, I, I said it on the interview. If that had hardcore screaming vocals, I'd probably get behind it because I find the music a bit lethargic, and that's why I like Sludge because Sludge is basically a hardcore band interpreting doom metal, isn't it? Stoner metal is not like that. I would say that that was I, not much sludge in that. To me, I would say that was stoner metal. Okay. Well, there you go. That was our reaction to Ninja Nisu and Namahe. Now, if you like this video, please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.